writing is the key. And I tell everybody that, I mean, first of all, let me back up a little. The editors are so important. The edit, people dismiss editing, it's just essential. And this was in the early, early days of digital editing, where you could just go anywhere easily, uh, any, any shot. We had 12 gigabytes. Wow. You know, my watch has got 12 gigabytes. Uh, but then the writing. Uh, I was a head writer, and it, it just has to be that way. If, you, uh, if you're Jay Leno, and you have the Jay Leno show, Jay Leno's just got to be the head writer. David Letterman's has to be the head writer of the David Letterman show. So Bill Nye was the head writer of the Bill Nye show. But the people that we found to come write for us, we went to Hollywood or to Los Angeles. This was woo for people from Seattle, woo. And we met two young writers, um, John Sherman and Melissa Gould, and they're just brilliant. I mean, I say this all the time, John Sherman's writing just kind of sparkles. It just has an extra little something. And he went on to be the story editor of Fraser. I mean, he's a very successful guy. He, uh, he also he had, to, had to leave the show. He got a better offer from MTV, and he left. What are you going to do? You know, he was under contract, but I said, what are you going to do? I mean, you got to... You're working on a kid show in Seattle, man. So he, uh, they set the, they set the tone, the quality, and the other people that came along in the later years were very good, uh, because it, sort of looking back, the bar had been set pretty high, so we, we kept it high. And Elizabeth Brock, the, uh, the uh, older statesman. Now bear in mind when I say older, she might have been 48 at the time. She wasn't, you know. 90 but she insisted that we keep the music video in so the music video was an experiment or let's try this in the pilot of which was about um, the water cycle and it was very well received so then we made sure every one of the hundred shows had a music video and uh, the writers would write those lyrics and people still talk to me about the uh, R-E-C-Y-C-L-E uh, recycle video instead of respect and um, people still talk about uh, the dinosaur video and the, the ocean life, power to the plankton is very good. <laughs> They're all good. But uh, when people, recently somebody asked me about power to the plankton and Morrissey for the Momentum show, Momentum C. It's oh, so funny. So uh, the other thing, this is, one, uh, this is a little story that I find charming. So John Sherman wrote, just a fabulous lyrics to uh, to the song My Sharona for the Sun show, the show about the sun, Bright Corona. All right, well, the great thing was, and this is PBS, this is the power of PBS, especially in, in those days before cable television and this was just crazy aggression about not spending money on production. Um, uh, we could use the original songs and get them cleared. That is to say, get the rights to use them for educational purposes on public broadcasting. So you could get the real song and then um, do new lyrics. You had to get permission from the artists. So Madonna let us use her songs. Uh, uh, James Brown's foundation let us use the song and so on. But Bright Corona, we couldn't find the band called The Knack. They had disbanded. Disband the band had disbanded. And they have rebanded now. Apparently they're playing in Vegas. The Knack is back together. But we couldn't do Bright Corona because we couldn't find the band. Oh, the heartbreak. So the writers were a huge part of the show. Now, almost everything that I said on camera, I wrote. Jim, once in a while, Jim McKenna would write something really good. But he, um, he was busy with other stuff. So I would sit there every day at a, with a, uh, an Apple, a Mac 140, an old black and white screen laptop. And I would write uh, all the words. And then the other thing that happened is just, I, look, you guys, I was doing my best. Um, you get on the set, and the way I would, I don't know if you were familiar with it, so. In the beginning of the show, we have a thing we called the walk, where you'd walk from one side to the other. And it was, this is Jim and Aaron's vision. And, well, I've contributed. But it's based on the opening of a James Bond movie, where James Bond is talking to Q, 
the equipment guy, equipment Q, huh? Yeah. About all the stuff. So James Bond and Q are walking along, and all this crazy stuff's going on behind them. But they're just, you know, it's just what we do here. We have a machine gun a guy wearing a trench coat, and he's fine, and we, tear gas goes off when you open your briefcase, and this ballpoint pen explodes, but it's really a laser. And okay. So that's the way it is. You're walking through the lab with Bill, and he's talking to you, the viewer, your Q, or I'm Q rather, and you're James Bond, and all the stuff's going on, but we just we just keep going. So that was sort of the premise of the open of the show, and that turned out to be a really successful format. So it's once more where television is derived from television. We we weren't the pioneers of that.